hi, I'm Jamie Lewis, and welcome back to TheBassist.net. Today I've got a little bit of an advanced funk groove that uses a lot of ghosted notes and 16th note syncopations to sound just like this. So go ahead and grab a bass and make sure you've also downloaded both the PDF file and the backing track that accompany this lesson. You'll find links to them in the description just below this video. And also, make sure that you've already completed the Essential Funk Vocabulary series here at thebassist.net. That way you'll know all of the different terminology that I'm using. And before we go any further, I just want to take a really quick second and say thank you to GHS Strings for making this video possible. I highly recommend you check out their Bass Boomers, which is a stainless steel string that's wrapped in nickel, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. And also the Precision Flats are absolutely fantastic. So go check them out at ghsstrings.com and make sure you tell them that Jamie sent you. All right, so let's give it a shot. The very first thing I'm gonna do when I'm learning new grooves like this is I break it down into little tiny chunks. It's easier to digest that way. So we're playing over an F minor seven chord the entire groove. Thankfully, there's just one chord. I'll do that again. We're playing an F down to a C. And now we're gonna go E flat, E natural, F. And I'm gonna do that all with my first finger. Sliding the last one, E natural to E, uh, sorry, E natural to F, and then plucking the octave of that F. And when you've got that down, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of bar number one. It'll look just like this. Basically, I start with a ghosted note on E, and I'm just patting the string like this, but you can pluck it if you want, followed by an A flat, an octave higher, Sliding up to B flat, a low B flat, go D to E flat, and then we're gonna go B flat and do a pull off down to A flat. And if you can do that, you're ready to go back to the beginning of bar number one and put all those notes together. So at a slow tempo, it'll look just like this. One more time. And remember also, we don't want these notes to be legato or long and connected. We actually want the opposite, short, detached, staccato notes, because this is funk music. So don't play it like this. Instead, this is what you want. And when you can play it at that speed with the staccato, detached funk phrasing that I'm talking about, you're ready to move on. So take a look at bar number two. It begins identically to bar number one. The difference here is we're gonna ghost a D string. In this case, I'm just patting the strings. I'm letting my hand fall down on it, but you can pluck the note two if you want. Uh, I'm gonna get two E flats, two D naturals, two Cs, and then I'm gonna play a couple of 30 second notes, a B flat, move into an A flat, and then landing on an F, which takes us to bar number three. If I put that all together at a slow tempo, it looks like this. Now bar number three is almost the same as bar number one, except we started adding in a little bit of syncopation. You'll hear the band kind of playing it in the track. So it starts with the same four or five notes. At this point, I'm gonna ghost a D, and again, I'm just patting it with my fingers, plugging an A flat octave, playing that ghosted D string again, B flat, ghosting an E, and then going A flat, B flat, E flat. So bar number three, when you put it all together, looks like this. And in my opinion, this is where things get really cool. Bar number four, which is the big turnaround lick, the fill. 
that takes us back to the beginning of the groove. So in slow motion, it looks just like this. Now what's happening here is we're starting with two 32nd notes and then playing two 16th notes. And we're repeating that pattern twice. And we're superimposing 316 over 4-4. Four, four. So it kind of creates this really unique syncopation. So we got two Fs, a C, an E flat, and then here's my next two 32nd notes, two A flats, and then an F, and then a B flat. I'm gonna take my second finger and move it to B natural and play B to C as a hammer on, and then E flat to F, same thing also as a hammer on. And once I get to this note, I'm sliding up to A flat. That's just walking down the scale. So A flat, G, F, E flat. And if you want to, this is a great time to add in a little bit of funk vibrato on that high B flat, just to kind of drive it home. So at a slow tempo and working up the speed, it looks like this. And if you can do that right there, you're ready to go back to the beginning and try to put the whole thing together. So we're gonna start slow and I'm gonna ramp up the tempo slowly but surely. And we'll play it about two or three times together, okay? Here we go, starting on F. So that's it for today. Practice up, and if you're struggling with any of this stuff, you can go ahead and drop me a line in the comment section below. And I promise I'll get right back to you. Thanks again to GHS Strings for sponsoring this episode. Go check them out at ghsstrings.com and tell them that Jamie sent you. Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel by clicking on this button over here. And if you really like what I do, then come hang out with me at thebasis.net by clicking on this button right down here. Also, new episodes of The Basis podcast go live each and every week. And until next time, I'll see you again here at thebasis.net.